Graham G. Samantha, it's your BleachReport.com. We're talking to WWE SmackDown superstar Sami Zayn. Elimination Chamber weekend, number one contender for the World Championship. Sami, what's going on, man? Pretty big, pretty big moment in time we find ourselves in here. Massive week yeah. ahead of you. And I know you talked about, like, in the last couple of days, you were in that same stadium for Montreal, you know, Survivor Series 97. And maybe you've put out a video about this since then on .com, and I missed it. But that's where you debuted as well. You yeah, know, eight years ago. Yeah, yeah. The journey with, with, with Bret Hart Brett. of all people introducing yeah. me. So it's really crazy. Uh, like I don't. I was just saying this in a different interview here, but it's it's not that I'm some guy from Montreal. Yeah. It's that I am a product of Montreal, and there's a huge distinction there. And I think that's why the, the connection uh, is is next level here. And you talk about you know even. The Bell Center being the place of my first show, and then that full circle moment of Bret Hart himself introducing me to me on my debut, and now we, we found ourselves here, and it's just this wild full nature, uh, full circle thing, and, and Montreal is kind of at the center of all of it. Yeah. And if you go back to the very start of the journey, not just that first show I see as a fan, but then getting trained here, and not just again, it's not like I moved to Calgary or moved to here to get trained and started. No, like I started here. Yeah. I started up the road. I did these shows in these church basements here, five minutes from here. Yeah. You know, like, I, day to day, I drive around here. I'm like, oh, there's my boot maker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, oh, I remember doing shows here. It's, it's everywhere. It smacks you in the face here when I'm here. So, um, man, it's just so special that we ended up here. Yeah. And that Montreal is now not only, it's not, it's not an interchangeable arena or an interchangeable city that we're running a show in. It, it's a pivotal part of the story now. Yep. So Montreal's a character in the story, and that's that doesn't happen very often. So Everything so happens cool. for a reason. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you talk about like even the promo with Cody from Monday's Raw, which was excellent. You faced him in Toronto, in Canada, at that yeah, Roadblock Road show, I, which is a February pay per view before. Yeah, it was right. It's, it's, it's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Everything happens for a reason. But as we wind down here, we got WrestleMania. If you can walk in as world champion, we're seeing all the movie Hollywood parodies because you know WrestleMania is going Hollywood this yeah. year. Hopefully, we get to see some new ones done. If it was up to you. And you had a choice. What movie would you want to parody for WrestleMania? What's your favorite movie of all time? Uh, I don't know. Reservoir Dogs is up Great there. choice. Yeah. Pulp Fiction. But I know, I remember, I think, Eddie Guerrero and Booker T did Pulp <laughs> yeah. Fiction back in... Uh, it's hard to top that. Oh, four. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Reservoir Dogs might be a little graphic, too. <laughs> you know? Anything recent from the last couple of years? Uh, oh, man. Well, I love Jojo Rabbit, but I don't think anything you can do, anything from that movie really applies yeah. <laughs> for this. Um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is a great yeah. one. Yeah, I just I rewatched that, actually. Recently. Big Tarantino Big fan. Big Tarantino fan, yeah. yeah. Fan of his films. Awesome. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. It's all just so magical. I what know. a magical time. <laughs> and that's what Saturday is going to be as well, Samuel. Yeah. Thanks so much for the Thanks, time, man. man. I appreciate it.